I was, uh, I think, 13 and a half. Um, I was the first time in America. I was visiting uh, friends of my parents. And they asked me, what do you want to do tonight? And I had seen somewhere like there was this, uh, this uh, drive-in. And I said, what is a drive-in? And they said, well, it's, uh, you can go there with your car and you watch a movie. I said, you're kidding me. And I was uh, that night, uh, uh, it was um, Planet of the Apes, you know, and uh, I just fell in love. And every other night when they asked me, so what do you want to do? I said, I want to go back <laughs> to Planet of the Apes. It's a very provocative movie. Uh, and, you know, and has a very provocative idea. And uh, at the center of all my films is very, is most of the time a very provocative idea. And so there also was like something which had deeply impressed me, the remains of the Statue of Liberty on the, on the beach. It's a very little known fact, you know, but um, there's another movie I abso absolutely love, is The Bridge on the River Kwai, and had the same author. The novel was written by Pierre Bouillet, but for both movies, a French author. I think mainly movies are there to get you into another world, where you all of a sudden, from one moment to the other, either in a f galaxy far, far away, or you're like in some fairy tale land, or you, uh, you know, take part in some heist. You know, it's just like something where you all of a sudden, from one moment to the other, you get in a dark room and something starts. And in that way, you know, that's what I love about movies. You can just, um, you know, forget about everything else and, uh, and, and, and experience uh, something which you would never ever experience yourself.